This is version 4 of the Excel analysis of the Powerball Australia Lottery. The seminal data page is where you enter the draw results, including the Powerball. The analysis comprises the draw results starting from the 19th of April 2018 till the 28th of October 2021. In other words, 185 draw results. All you need to do is to enter the draw results and the Excel workbook will do the analysis in 28 tabs. As we all know, we must pick seven numbers from one to 35 and one number from one to 20. For the convenience of analysis, the 35 standard numbers are equally divided into five segments. Each segment contains seven numbers each. The first segment includes one to seven numbers. The second segment comprises eight to 14. The third includes 15 to 21. The fourth contains 22 to 28, and the fifth has 29 to 35. These five columns convert the numbers from the draw results into their assigned segments. For example, on the 26th of April 2018, the draw result was 9, 14, 15, 19, 24, 34 and 35. Suppose we convert these numbers into the five assigned segments. In that case, we can see that no number appeared from 1 to 7 that belongs to segment 1, two numbers appeared from 8 to 14 that belongs to segment 2, two numbers appeared from 15 to 21 that belongs to segment 3, one number appeared from 22 to 28 that belongs to segment 4, and two numbers appeared from 29 to 35 that belongs to segment 5. The K to O columns demonstrates the percentage of numbers that appeared in each segment. For example, in segment 2, two numbers appeared out of the total 7, which is 29%. The column with the heading, combined, combines the figures in the five segments. The blank values of the cells are taken as zero. Therefore, the combined segment figure of the results of the 26th of April 2018 is 0, 2, 2, 1, 2. If we reorder them on the basis of large to small, it will be 2, 2, 2, 1, 0. We call them umbrella segments. We can list a maximum of 13 unique umbrella segments, which is demonstrated here. From here on, the analysis in the following 16 tabs uses the concept of umbrella segments. It is also important to note that when the Powerball is the same as one of the standard numbers, both will be highlighted in blue. Segment analysis 1 establishes some statements and tells you the probabilities. For example, out of the 185 umbrella segments, how many umbrella segments we can find with only one 3? We can see that the answer is 66. How did we get that? That statement includes three possible umbrella segments and they are 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 3, 2, 2, 0, 0 and 4. 3, 0, 0, 0. 3, 2, 1, 1, 0 appeared 55 times, 3, 2, 2, 0, 0 appeared 10 times and 4, 3, 0, 0, 0 appeared once. The segment analysis 2 lists the possible 13 segments and tells you each one's representation so far. For example, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1 appeared 42 times so far, which is 22.70%. Please look closely, you can see that 73.51% occurred from just three umbrella segments out of the possible 13. So what does it tell you? It tells you to make informed decisions. It also means that if you rely on luck, you may blindly place a bet on these 10 irrelevant umbrella segments with a winning chance of a mere 25.41%. Segment analysis 3 tells you the likelihood of one umbrella segment to occur after another umbrella segment. For example, the possibility of 3, 1, 1, 1, 1 to occur after 2, 2, 2, 1, 0 is 20.51% which equals 8 times. You can drag it to the right to see the relationship between all possible umbrella segments. Why is this important to know? It helps you make informed decisions based on the last occurred umbrella segments. Variation analysis is where we identify 
and list all variations of umbrella segments occurred so far. What does it mean by variations? It means the different combinations we can create using each umbrella segment. For example, variation analysis 1 shows the variations of 2, 2, 1, 1, 1 that appeared so far. We could see that the total number of times this umbrella segment appeared is 42 times, which includes 9 variations. It also means that the probability of each variation to occur is 4.67 times. In other words, the repeat probability of each variation is 78.57%. This is in the case of all recorded draw results, which is 185 so far. However, what if you want to know whether the trend in the last 100 draws, or 75 draws, or 50 draws, or 25 draws, are the same or similar to the trend found in the draws so far? So that is why we have demonstrated another set of analyses here. For example, in the last 100 draws, this umbrella segment appeared 21 times, which equals 21%. So, the representation of this segment in the previous 100 draws is comparatively smaller than its all-time representation, which is 22.7%. Why don't you compare the other aspects such as the number of variations, repeat probability, and occurrence rate? If you drag to the right, you can also see the list of the variations of this umbrella segment in the last 25, 50, 75, and 100 draws. In the same fashion, we have analyzed each of the 13 umbrella segments in the following tabs. The number analysis 1 tells you the occurrence of each number so far and its relevance within its respective segment. For example, number 1 belongs to segment 1 that includes numbers 1 to 7. Number 1 occurred 36 times so far, which is equal to 14.01% within its respective segment and 2.78% when compared with the occurrence rate of all other 34 numbers. The number analysis 2 tells you two things, first, the number of times and the occurrence rate of each number so far. Second, the frequency of each number. For example, which number appeared in two consecutive draws most number of times. We could see that 9 appeared 11 times in two successive draws. Similarly, 17 appeared 4 times in 3 straight draws. We have also listed the trend in 4 and 5 consecutive draws. The number analysis 3 tells you the likelihood of each number to occur after another number. For example, number 20 appeared 6 times after number 1. Similarly, 9 is the most appeared number after number 3. The number analysis 4 tells you the likelihood of each number to occur along with another number in individual draws. For example, the number 11 appeared 12 times along with the number 1. Similarly, the number 10 appeared 6 times along with the number 5. The PB analysis 1 puts the 1 to 20 Powerball numbers into 5 segments and analyses each segment's representation so far. For example, out of the 185 draws, in 47 draws, the Powerball was either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Similarly, this tab analyzes the representation of each number within the segment and overall. For example, 19 appeared 16 times out of the 185 draws so far, which is equal to 8.65% of all the numbers appeared and 39.02% within segment 5, which 17 to 20 numbers. Also, the right side drop down menu shows the occurrence of each number and its representation. The PB analysis 2 demonstrates the Powerball trajectory. Some users find it helpful to make decisions based on the shape of the line chart and the placement of numbers. The PB analysis 3 tells you the likelihood of each Powerball number to occur after another Powerball number. For example, number 2 appeared two times after number 4. Similarly, number 13 is the one that appeared most number of times after number 19. The PB analysis 4 tells you the number of times when Powerball was the same as one of the standard numbers. For example, 
there were five occurrences when seven was one of the standard numbers, as well as the Powerball number. The Powerball to segment ratio shows the relationship between Powerballs and the 13 umbrella segments. For example, segment 3, 2, 1, 1, 0 appeared six times when Powerball was number 3. Similarly, segment 3, 3, 1, 0, 0 did not appear even once when the Powerball was number 17. The segment to Powerball ratio shows the relationship between the 13 umbrella segments and Powerballs. For example, Powerball number 2 appeared 7 times when the umbrella segment was 3, 2, 1, 1, 0. Similarly, Powerball number 2 did not appear even once when the umbrella segment was 3, 2, 2, 0. The last tab, the number to Powerball ratio, shows the relationship between the standard 35 numbers and 20 Powerball numbers. For example, when one of the standard numbers were 14, number 9 was the Powerball four times. Similarly, when one of the standard numbers were 33, 11 as Powerball number did not appear even once. We hope you have enjoyed this video and have learned enough about the worth of this Excel workbook. If you have any doubts, please ask them in the comment section. If you wish to purchase this workbook, please email to bells.cob at gmail.com. The price of this workbook is 200 Australian dollars. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors.